Well, another fab day on the allotment. Uh, 20 degrees centigrade look. Uh, it's been cloudy all day, but it's been bloody hot. I'm going to spare. So, sat on my uh, bench at the minute. Uh, gonna have a walk around. Got my little duck and my upper pool. The pond's looking brilliant now, isn't it? To the top. Just want to move some of the stones around. Make sure all the stones are on the edge of the pond. It looks better. I'll sort that out later before I go home. But that really, really impressed with my pond now. And then walk around with a little pond. So this is the beetroot I put in last week. Got a lot of beetroot in this year. I'll have to do some today. Um, the beans and the peas what I harvested yesterday. Uh, harvested, uh, weeded yesterday. Uh, we did this bed yesterday as well um, with the other raspberries and the mini sweet corn. And then today I've been weeding, weeding all this lot. It's a lot better, doesn't it? So these I've harvested some brilliant yellow beetroot today, but uh, some beetroot, beetroot here as well. If I can, if you can see any under there, try thinning out a little bit today. On there, um, and this bit is all the turnips. Can you see that one there? Look, oh, that one there. It's a beaut in it. In fact, I'm going to talk that one because it's a bit out of the ground, isn't it? I will actually. Oh, look at that bad boy. It's a nice turnip. Let's put that there. Well, I'll have just a couple in a minute. Some. This is sitting on top. Get that one in on once. Make a bit more room for some of the others. Some more there, look. Turn it snowball. <laughs> um, we did all this lot as well. Um, for oh, parsnips there. Parsnips never do very well in this ground, but we've got some. Um, some more beetroot there. Um, there I've got the rainbow chard at the side of the beetroot. Done well, picked loads of that today. Uh, come down. This is some courgettes and winter squashes. See, winter squash there. Runner beans. Loads yesterday, but you can see still more to come. Loads of them coming. So when I get back from Manchester, there should be another bag full of. I presume there'll be another bag full of um, runners. These all and that one there. It's only yesterday I picked them all. Look at that one's grown in there. It's because I watered them. Let's see. Picked most of them ones yesterday. One for my foot tree. Oh, that's not quite right, is it? Did eat them yesterday though, they're lovely. Yeah, if I walk down here, put in. Um, some more beetroot I put in a fortnight ago. Got plenty of beetroot. I've the seed packets go all down to a penny of clearance and ordered some and then got a load of free way garden magazine and I've got some uh, carrots and parsnips here as well spring onion carrots parsnips carrots I love this I didn't put it in I think a bird dropped that <laughs> It's nice. Um, then over here at the shed. Picked this variety of kale today. Oh, tomatoes. I didn't cane them, so I lost all my tomatoes. It was my own fault, laziness. Another variety of kale and sprouts. A 
I'm going to get rid of the blackberry bushes in here because I haven't picked from them this year and get enough on back wall. So I'll make a bit more space, maybe put a greenhouse. So, red kale, right your sprouts. That's the bed I'm setting to go right in the minute. I'll, once I get back from Manchester, I'll clear all that digging. First one for winter digging. <laughs> And a corner cob. Right, they're doing fab this year, these. Yeah. There's a couple of cobs on that one, look. You see them? On that one. Don't know when they're ready. Someone said it's when they've turned black, the husks. Well, I think they're only yet. Yeah. There's more than. I always thought they were in doubles, but there's more than two on some of them. And then here, I think these are Kaylettes. I did put some Kaylettes in, so I'm presuming they're Kaylettes. The Kaylettes are a cross between kale and sprouts. <laughs> Interesting to see what happens. Spinach will let go to seed by accident. We've got some uh, purple broccoli there. Well, and some more sprouts. Brassic aside. You can see these leeks were put in about a month after the leeks at the side of them. They're doing fantastic, and also the last of the spring cabbages over there. Still a few. So, that's my plot. 